how to replace your Chiron electronic throttle with a uh, another electronic throttle, but something aftermarket. So, easy way to do it is to remove the bash guard like this. Then you remove the plastic guard that is just above it. And for the sake of the video, I remove also the two front screws and a little plastic flap here. So it would be easier to show you uh, what needs to be done. So this little plastic booth is normally around here and it's zip tied. So you need to cut two zip ties to be able to access the uh, connectors. So since the connectors are out, it might be a good idea to also use some the electric grease. I've put some on the back of the connector to keep the water from getting in. Also, I used some on the orange seals. I didn't put any on the connector pins, just a tiny bit of the mouth like with a Q-tip, just to keep the moisture away. So. This little guy here, the three pin black uh, Furukawa connector is uh, the throttle. Male side goes to the main harness and to the controller. Female side is the throttle. In my case, the throttle is a, the older style, the mechanical one. But if you got an electronic one, the connection is still there but you got a long wire going up to the handlebars. So, replacing the throttle with something aftermarket is not difficult. It's actually really easy. You don't even need to go all the way here to replace it. You can just cut the wire near the throttle, make a splice right here, and put a Bifang throttle. In my case, I've made a complete new adapter so I don't have to cut it, but if you need to do it and you don't want to go with all the trouble of removing the bash guard and the controller, you can just do it on the handlebars, which is a lot more simple. So the pinout. Now, as you can see on the uh, Chiron male harness, Pin number one, which is at the top here, the latch, you know, the two pins here are at the bottom. So if you look at it like this, pin number one is ground. Pin number two on the right is uh, the positive, the five volt. And pin number three on the left is the green signal wire. So you got five volt ground and you got your signal, which is 0.8 up to 3.6 volt at full throttle. So it uses a typical, well, not even typical. It's like the industry standard now is a Hall sensor-based throttle. So a Bifang throttle like this will work. Uh, full twist, half twist, left throttle, anything you want, you can use it. Uh, all the throttles that Luna sells are Hall sensor-based throttle. You might get away, you know, some people actually use the Megura throttle and a Domino throttle. These are potential meter five, 5K pots. It might work, but it, chances are there will be some uh, dead band at the beginning and at the end. But in case of a, uh, uh, this works exactly like a uh, standard Chiron throttle. It's a little bit awkward, to be honest, a uh, thumb throttle. This would be a full, uh, full, uh, full twist throttle. So, but the good thing is the wires they match. It's possible that in some cases, let's focus that the green wire is a yellow. It's still the same uh, signal wire. Red is red, black is black. So far, I haven't seen any throttle with a different color code. It's just the signal wire can change because in some cases they used a uh, an extension on it and 
it could be yellow, just like a uh, gear sensor or whatever cable they use at the factories. In any case, red and black are always the positive and the ground, so you should be good to go. So, in your case, if you don't want to go with all of this, again, you cut the throttle wire. This is the brake, but it doesn't matter, but you cut your throttle electronic here, make a splice, and you should be good to go. Hope that helps.